Hey everybody and welcome to another Zoot Media WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to optimize your permalinks, also known as your URLs, for WordPress. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, what I'm referring to is when you first install WordPress and you publish a blog post or a page, you'll notice that when you click on the individual post or page, that the URL will change to a question mark P equals and then a number. And what that means is it's the post ID is number 2062. And that's the default way of, that WordPress does URLs. But it's definitely not the best way because A, it's not very descriptive and users don't really know where they are or what they're looking at. And B, search engines definitely like it better when you use your keywords in the URLs of the blog posts and pages because they can kind of tell what you're what they're looking at instead of just a random number and luckily it's really easy to change the permalink structure within WordPress so here's how you do it once you log in and you go to the dashboard here scroll down to the settings section and expand it and then look for the permalinks option and this is where we will control the permalinks for WordPress and by default, the default one will be selected, which will be the post ID and then the number. And you have a few options. You can do day and name, which will show the year slash the month slash the date, and then the sample post, which would be the title. Or you can do the month and name, and what the only difference is it takes out the day and just puts the month and the year. So that's another way of doing it. But what I prefer doing is I actually do a custom structure on mine and what I do is I do the post yeah, let me paste it for you so what I do is the post name dash the post ID and this is why a lot of people just use the post name but what happens is later on down the road some people run into problems where they either have too many posts that have similar names or they have a post and a page that have the same name. And the main difference that WordPress uses to d differentiate between pages and posts is normally a post has a number attached to it and a page does not. So what I've ended up doing is using the post name dash the ID number so that way that WordPress has a unique number that it can find it whenever it wants to pull up a blog post and it'll never get confused between pages and posts and no matter how many articles you add later on down the road you don't have to worry about running in any hiccups along the way and all you do then is once you put in the structure you just hit save changes and if you come back here and you go to your home page and I'll select a blog post you'll notice that the URL now says business-wordpress-themes- 2062. So now it's very descriptive and people can kind of know what they're looking at and you have very good keywords in the slugs or the URLs and it really helps and it only takes about a minute to really set this up and it's something that I always do as soon as I install WordPress. So just remember to come into the permalink section and then decide which option you want to use and if you need help putting together exactly what I did you can actually just go to this option which is the second one from the bottom there and just copy the post ID part and then choose one of the other options like day and name and just delete everything before the slash right here and then delete the following slash and then you can just paste in the post ID like that and you'll have exactly how you should have it configured if you want to see the best results and the only other options under the permalink screen are the category base and the tag base and what that controls is if somebody clicks on a category or a tag your URL is going to be slash either category or slash tag slash whatever the name of the tag is and by default it uses category and tag but if you wanted to change it you could do slash topics or you could do slash you know something that might be unique for your website like if you're doing um, 
a website that's only about state things. So you can you could change it to slash state slash and then create 50 categories for each state, and then that way it kind of has a consistent feel to it. And all you have to do is click the save changes, and your permalinks will be fixed. And from that point on, you really don't have to do anything with it because it's already configured. And it's just one of those things that you set it once, and you can basically forget about it. So I highly recommend doing this. Um, I do it on all my blogs, and I recommend it to all our clients. So go ahead and try it out today.